Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA did not disappoint yesterday with Foot Birthday Team number two and the content that they dropped, but they were very strategic about certain prices of new and refreshed SBCs that they knew people would do because of those prices and it's making fodder go up in price like crazy. What I want to do in today's video is talk about why this stuff is moving up on the market as much as it is and will these fodder cards keep rising because because we have so much more SBC content that is leaked and so many more SBCs to come as soon as today even with the potential foot birthday icon player SBC as a part of Saturday's content. We'll talk about all of that and the way the market is currently moving and what to watch out for today on Saturday in FIFA 23 in this video. If you're excited for it, if it helps you out today, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's talk about the team impacts first because honestly, GG to EA with some of the upgrades that they dropped yesterday not just plus ones and plus twos but some plus threes bruno gamerash with plus three shooting passing and physical off of his path to glory card of course getting a five star skill boost as well this is one of the most uh, hyped cards that was dropped as a part of yesterday's content now there were some smaller upgrades too right Vinny jr only got plus one pace uh or sorry plus zero pace obviously he's 99 no pace no dribbling upgrade but plus one shooting defense physical and plus two passing there but you had some other icons with big upgrades maldini plus three dribbling and plus four physical 87 physical on the maldini card that was a big upgrade uh kaka got a pretty nice upgrade as well matt's hummels of course you have to look at the pace upgrade here guys plus 31 pace an 84 pace hummels card with a five star weak foot and this is a very usable card for a certain objective right now even in weekend league we'll talk about that timo Werner. speaking of bundesliga boosts timo Werner with a skill move and a weak foot upgrade five star weak foot four star skills uh, plus four passing, three dribbling defense, physical, and shooting, and then plus two pace. So, GG to EA Sports for dropping a promo team yesterday with some really nice upgrades. El Shirawi was a nice prize, uh, surprise. No leaks about this card getting a, a new one dropped. And I know it's a small upgrade over his inform, but, you know, five-star skills, three-star weak foot, El Shah. We love a five-star skill, El Shirawi in FIFA, as always. So, the icon player selection yesterday, the player selection from the foot birthday team, I thought was pretty good. Now, we are still missing out on a mini release of a couple players. That could be today. Probably not, though. I would more so think that it's going to end up being tomorrow and Sunday. So, you know, like Ganduzi. Joaquim Mella, uh, those guys that were not in the promo team yesterday. Expect to see those guys here coming pretty soon. I'm going to pick up this Timo Werner because I think that's a pretty good price, and I honestly want to try out this card with the skill move boost and the weak foot boost that he has. I haven't used a Timo Werner card in a long time. Like FIFA, I don't even know, 18 team of the season is I feel like the last time I used a cracked out Timo Werner. So I'm going to try him out. I think that price is pretty decent there. Overall, for a lot of these prices of this promo team, you know, they are a little bit expensive but it's day one right what else do you expect they're pretty rare bruno gameresh is 1.1 million coins i do believe and we'll talk about this a bit further that a lot of these will continue to fall off in price as they normally do on a saturday today so just be careful if you're holding on to them a lot of people are going to be playing weekend league opening their packs these guys will get supplied today through lightning rounds and weekend league packs and their prices will most likely drop although there could be some fluctuations which we'll talk more about in this video as well now just to keep going over the content from yesterday we have to look at objectives because once again, the best part of this promo has been objectives. I can't lie, right? Last week we had W objectives. It continues this week. Foot birthday objective player number two. We've got Hinkape, an overpowered beast from last year in FIFA. Uh, he's a center back. His base card is a left back. He can play left back for this version as well. But the best part about this is I played one game of champs yesterday on stream and I already got three out of four on this dangerous defender section of the objective, one out of four on the speed run. So it's very easy to get this done because you can do it in foot champs. It's great, right? Also, you know, part of the way you have to do it is getting four Bundesliga players in your starting 11, which is another reason why I just picked up that Timo Werner so that I can try him out and put some other Bundesliga guys in my starting 11 for foot champs. If I win seven games with those guys in there, trying some new players in the squad, then uh, of course, I can get this objective done at the same time, which is a big W. GG's to EA. It's just a little small thing that makes a life so much easier, especially like during the week, we are going to be grinding the foot birthday cup. We're not necessarily wanting to be grinding this. We have a cup to grind, guys. Another big W, and EA dropped three swap tokens inside of this cup yesterday for winning two games, playing eight, 
and playing for I believe it's five matches per day that you can play and there are some restrictions I haven't even really looked at this to be completely honest there are some restrictions on the foot birthday cup only one player that can be 89 um, and above so very interesting there from EA I like that that's different right max two lone players five matches per day so GG's to EA for making a fun kind of different cup mode with some swap tokens to grind so we'll be doing that of course during the week some other good packs in here of course at the very end if you complete all the requirements you get a foot birthday player pack from team one or team two so big W from EA yesterday honestly the login upgrades continue um, tomorrow we all get an 84 plus times three or sorry today we get an 84 plus times three pack and then tomorrow on Sunday we will get the final swaps token from that daily login so the W's and the objectives continue fair play to EA for that speaking of swap tokens really quick we are up to 25 EA dropped six of them yesterday, one as a part of Hincapé, three in the cup, one SBC, and then one in the store for 85,000 coins. So we are up to 25 tokens in total. So get to grinding, get to crafting those tokens and uh, getting your rewards, which after seeing some 84 times 20s yesterday, I think that I'm going to be changing my option of where I'm going with the rest of my tokens. I was going to go for the 87 plus for 15 tokens, have a bit of a gamble, but after seeing the 84 times 20, um, or actually 84 times 40, if you will, two different packs, and the other big SBCs that are leaked to come, and the current SBC that we got yesterday with Nkunku, I'm going to do the 84 times 40 and just hope that I can pack a foot birthday icon and or a foot birthday card in that. Since I already hit George Best from a player pick, I feel like I've maybe just hit the lottery already. Um, I don't want to risk it as much through here. I'd rather risk it and then get like a lot of fodder in return. So that's kind of what I'm going to do with the rest of my tokens here later on this week for Team 2 of a birthday. Now, this is the big SBC, right? We hoped that Nkunku was going to drop and he did, but we were all shocked when we saw 89 rated for this card. He's still 5-star, five 5-star. Five he still is a cracked looking card. Some people say he looks behind the curve or that he looks not super meta. I really disagree. He's got all the meta traits. He does have really good stats. I mean, the only stats you can maybe point at and say, okay, they're not very good. Some of the shooting stats and his composure, right? Those are like the only kind of two small things in this card that really aren't that good. But when it boils down to it, this is the, almost the same in Kunku that is the 92. I know it's not exactly the same. It's like minus three on every single stat as this 92 in Kunku that we all thought his SBC was going to be similar to. But now the fact that this one is so much cheaper, um, this is where EA is so smart, right? And I mentioned this on stream yesterday. EA, uh, honestly, this shows how smart they are because yesterday doing this and dropping this SBC, this card has been one that's been almost unattainable for everybody on the game this year. And Cuckoo has been injured. We haven't had a chance to get special cards for his player item in FIFA. He was very overpowered last year with all of his player of the months and his team of the season card, and he got injured, right? And now people have wanted to use this 92 all year long, but they haven't had the coins or it's not been a very grindable way to get this card. And this kind of alleviates that problem. You get to use a five star, five star on Kunku that is kind of like this card, just a little bit worse, but with still insane stats and the five star, five star. And it's only, I mean, only 1.1 million coins with a sick dynamic image, right? We love that. But I think really what EA is doing here is they know that people want to use Nkunku. They know the hype there is around this player, this card in FIFA. It's a very, very meta card. And you can play him almost anywhere. People are putting shadows on this card, playing him in box-to-box -box center mid role. I'm tempted to play him there. Some people are playing him at center attacking mid. Some at striker. Some on the wing with a hunter chemistry style. I mean, the options for this guy are endless and if you don't want to get it done right away you definitely don't have to i know this sbc does not suit everybody's team but i just tweeted out a couple hours ago i was like guys you're going to really start to see this guy in so many different weekend league teams when you go up against them the french links are nice bundesliga links are hard to come by but there are a decent amount of leipzig players that you could link him to and i you know i think a lot of people are going to end up doing this sbc because they're going to hear how cracked he is and they're going to see that this is actually pretty craftable 1.1 million coins is not that bad especially with team of the season upcoming even with the swaps program that is going on right now i mean guys people made excuses left right and center to get the 92 mbappe player of the month done that was a 2.1 million coin sbc i think people are gonna you know get this and cuckoo done as well maybe not as many people as mbappe but really i think and cuckoo is going to end up being a card that a lot of people want to go and get and craft even more so than conte in my opinion so 
although that price does seem a bit much for this card and considering how it is compared to the 92 i think it's decent and of course i've already started on it because i am going to do it and i just think it's going to be a super duper meta card that a lot of people are going to use so just kind of pay attention the next couple of weeks how many times you absolutely uh, match up against that card in the weekend league but with this SBC dropping and the 88 plus icon refreshing i'm not going to say that that SBC is the only thing that caused fodder to go up yesterday but this SBC and i think a lot of people getting swaps packs as well from more tokens being dropped in SBC in the store and in objectives yesterday fodder on the high tier is up big time if we take a look at hot uh, high tier fodder prices 91s which if we were on the stream yesterday we tipped these before content we said hey you guys got to buy these before the content drop because afterwards they are probably going to go up and that is exactly what happened these guys dropped low yesterday right around here i loaded up on the rest of my coins that i had i had about a million coins and i went all in on 91s at about 70k and they absolutely exploded after content with the Nkunku sbc and i think People opening some fodder packs from swaps and going out and doing Conte, finishing uh, Cruyff, maybe doing Rivaldo, right? Some of those higher rated squads that require 89, 90, and 91 rated cards. All of the top tier fodder on this game is absolutely exploding. And here's my honest opinion, guys. There is no need to sell it right now. List it up for lazies uh, and let those prices rise because at this moment, we are just going to get more SBCs. And more people are going to be getting those swaps rewards, doing upgrade packs later on this week, getting weekly rewards, getting coins to go and complete these SBCs that they have started, especially when people have higher rated fodder and they feel like they can start an SBC like in Kunku, then they're, they're locked in, right? They're kind of grinding, crafting to get that done. And I think you're going to see a lot of that throughout this next week. So for the parts of the fodder market that are not inflated, I'm looking at 83s at basically a disgusting low price of 1,000 coins. Guys, get these on bid for 9 50 stock them on your transfer list stock them in the club they will someday go to 3k again it might not be for a week or two but like look how often they've stayed uh, above 2,000 coins in the past couple of weeks here I really believe these guys will go back up to about two two and a half to three thousand coins it might not be next week it might be two three weeks from now but almost a hundred percent guarantee you that's going to happen just because it's kind of a game of cycles with fodder, right? The high tier is really in demand right now, but at some point, the low tier is going to come back into demand again. So stock up on those. Stock up on 84s. 85s under 10K, pretty low as well. 86 is at like 13, 14 on bid. Not bad, especially for some of the informs. You know, 87s and above, that's the stuff that is kind of moving upwards that you have to be a bit more careful about. Uh, and it's probably going to keep rising throughout the rest of the week. But like I said, more SBCs are coming to move those cards. We'll talk about those SBCs here in a second. But with Nkunku and with everything that happened on the game yesterday, this Nkunku was the focus, right, of content. The 88 plus icon player pick was also a focus of content yesterday. Uh, it actually did cause a bit of panic, right, especially on your attackers and your center attacking mids. Now, this is one other way that I can show you guys right now on the market that people are doing in Kunku because cards like this Roberto Firmino, he was down at around 600,000 coins flat and he's now back up a little bit. But if there's panic selling on a card like this, one of the cards that I even owned, right? Cristiano Ronaldo's rule breaker card. I bought this hoping that it would rise up a bit extra in the links and in the hype to uh, Anthony, right? And this guy is back down 440,000 coins for Rule Breaker CR7. It, a lot of strikers, if you look across the game, strikers and center attacking mids have dropped in price and it really is due to the Nkunku SBC and maybe some other people going out and, you know, finishing Cruyff and stuff like that, getting some of those new attackers in their squad and maybe some people, of course, you know, maybe they're getting like, I don't know, Timo Werner to try out for their team and stuff like that as well. But, you know, this, this Nkunku really did impact the market a lot yesterday and you can tell based on the positions that people would be selling to replace him in their team with. So there was a bit of a panic on the market yesterday, not a ton, uh, but you did see some like fantasy cards drop in price. Uh, like Jota is down a bit. Ben Acer is down. Hazard is down. Ruben Diaz is down. And it wasn't just on attackers, but it was more so prevalent, the drops in prices on attackers than defenders. Um, Alexis Sanchez, 480 yesterday. Isak is down in price after uh, the big SBC dropping as well. So a lot of prices have either gone down just a little bit. A, a couple have gone up. Really, the prices that have gone up the most are links to Nkunku and some of your like lower tier Bundesliga players as well because of that Bundesliga uh, requirement in the... Um, 
the objectives. I think Jude Bellingham, team of the year. Yeah, Jude Bellingham is up as well. Take a look at his graph. Yesterday after Nkunku came out, it's crazy, right? This guy went from 2.8 all the way up to 3.1, almost 3.2, and he's still right around 3.1 with a couple undercuts right now. But it's crazy that a card like this even moves with the, the release of an SBC like Nkunku because there just isn't that many Bundesliga uh, overpowered, like really meta cards on this game. So people go to the select few uh, that there are to try to link that Nkunku together. But of course, he is French too, so pretty easy to link that way. Now, like I said, and with the market, uh, the market's still pretty healthy. I know we're getting a lot of SBC content, which is draining coins kind of slowly over time. And we might start to see that coin drain a little bit more I guess you could say uh, extreme this next week because the leaked SBCs that we have as well, which we're going to take a look at some of those in a minute, the leaked SBCs that we have look really, really good. So again, I would just be careful with some of your live cards. I know that we have games starting again today, and we've been talking about live cards as really good opportunities to make coins. But at this point, the way that I would try to look at it is if Liverpool score today early, and let's say Jota, uh, of course, maybe he's not playing. I don't know if he's going to play or not. Just watch the game today and figure it out. But like, this is the card that I keep looking at. If Liverpool score first and go ahead, this guy's going to jump up in price because people will be like, oh my goodness, Jota can finally get upgraded. This is the league game. Um, and a win would give him a plus one upgrade. You know, the same upgrades are, of course, on the line for the fantasy foot cards that seem so far off. Now they are fully in swing. So watch those cards, but also know that if there is some big content released, those could be some of the first cards that are panic sold as investors and people who are trying to get their coins out of investments would maybe sell those because live cards are always invested in anytime they're still live. They're always invested in. So just be pretty careful with those um, on the market today. Now, Saturday content. What's going to be dropping today? What else is going to be moving on the market? We talk about the team of promo cards always dropping down in price on Saturdays. If you're trading with any of these today, we talk about this in terms of content because I always love trading with new promo cards on Saturdays because there's always a lot of panic and there's always a lot of droppages in price, but then there's always some rebounds on the rare ones. Watch Bruno Guimaraes today. Watch Anthony, these two guys are going to be fantastic to trade with and fantastic to flip if you time the low point correctly. Anthony was just the 900,000 coins flat. He went up to about 970, 980. Now he's back down to 918 again. So not really like super profitable fluctuations, but they're moving a lot in price. I think Anthony is going to dip down in price today. Just watch out for that. I think he's overpriced at the moment because the upgrade was pretty small. But Speaking of content today, remember what we had last Saturday? We had Gattuso, or sorry, we had Rivaldo. Today, we're looking at potentially getting Gattuso. Super interested to see how EA boosts this card. I hope it has 80 pace. If it doesn't, it'll be seen as an L. He needs a massive boost, kind of like the um, kind of like Hummels. Maybe not as extreme, right? But Hummels, Hummels had really, really low pace. But hopefully, a Gattuso SBC, if it is dropped today, has a big enough upgrade, is a meta enough looking card, and is a pretty good price. It would have to be a bit cheaper of an Icon SBC for it really to mean too much in the game today. Now, I mean, we might not get an Icon today, but Icons just seem like they should drop, especially with Rivaldo last Saturday. Watch out for Rabio, right? This is a big SBC leak. We've got Bamba as an SBC leak right now. Uh, we have Toliso. There are so many French cards. We talked about it yesterday. Even more have been leaked uh, with the Toliso and the Rabio and the Bamba. Like even more French SBCs have been leaked to be upcoming. So watch out for any of those. I really feel like Gattuso might be today. Let's see if we can go two for two. We called in Kunku yesterday. Let's see if we can say Gattuso is today and it would drop as well. But besides that, maybe just a token SBC. I wouldn't expect too much else. Last chance here to get the Gibbs White or the Mateus Cunha uh, SBC finished out here if you want to risk it for an upgrade in one of the games today. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to end up doing this. I wanted to do one just to get involved, but I may not end up doing that. We'll have to see. But the five-star weak foot uh, is nice here for that showdown kind of ending uh, with that upgrade in the potential there as well. Now, objectives today, probably going to be pretty quiet unless we get another uh, objective player. For I doubt that would be happening. So probably going to be a pretty quiet today, day today. Yesterday, they also dropped the 10 coin pack again in the store, which was a big freaking W. And we're going to have another video on the channel later today, just testing something out, right? Don't really upload a lot of packs and stuff like that. But yesterday we opened a bunch of 10 coin packs, a bunch of the store packs, and it was an absolute blast. Um, and they were actually giving out pretty good. So we're going to upload one of those today. Uh, drop a like if you enjoy this type of videos. Just trying something new. Uh, just let me know in the comments if you enjoyed that video as well when it drops. So watch out for that one. But uh, maybe another um, pack today in the store. Probably like that 
500K, 450K pack. Wouldn't be surprised if either of those are dropped. We didn't see any of the halftime player pick packs, which, again, we talked about yesterday. That'd be something that'd be completely new. We'll see if they drop it today or during this weekend, or if that was just pack code that was added for a different time. We have not seen anything along those lines just yet, but hopefully today on Saturday is a decent day of dropping prices. I know we don't like to lose coins on full birthday cards, but if you know that the price drops are most likely gonna be coming, what it really does is it opens up another opportunity for us to maybe buy some of these new cards for our team to try them out. And, uh, you know, you don't have to pay as much by the time, you know, we look at the price on a Saturday night compared to a Sunday. Now, I picked up a Timo Werner at that 340 price. Man, there's another one. Wish I had coins because I would do it again if I could. I really feel like this guy might go back up a little bit. He's pretty rare. And I want to try him out. And with the Bundesliga links, watch out for uh, Mats Hummels as well. With the Bundesliga requirements there uh, in the foot champions aspect, being able to play foot champions and work on an objective at the same time is kind of cool. So I picked up a couple of Hummels at like 94K, hoping that maybe I could uh, sell them for a little bit above 100,000 coins with some chem styles on them this morning as people wake up. Maybe try Hummels and uh, try to get that Hincapé objective combined done in foot champ. So watch out for that today. Watch out for the live cards and hopefully we get some nice SBC content today on this game. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe for new. I'll see you guys in another video today. It's been Nathan for the Count. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.